Hey Gemini, how's it going? I hope everything is going as well as it can be. We're going to hop into your reading, see what is going on with you and your love interest or whoever comes to mind during the reading. And then we'll get into what I see happening next in the connection. All right, gems, let's get into this, shall we? Oh, look, I think, isn't the, isn't the diamond, isn't that your, your gemstone? Look, no, I don't look it up. Gemini, or is that June? I'm not thinking about June, Gemini. June birthstone is pearl. Hmm. Okay. What about May? May birthstone. Emerald. Okay. I like it. <laughs> Maybe when I think of Gemini, I think of a diamond. Yeah. Maybe, Gemini, you're under some sort of pressure. And pressure creates diamonds. All right. That's right. Pressure creates diamonds. All right, Gemini, let's see. Feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe. Oh, subscribe. Space just came out, so clearly we're starting the reading. <laughs> um, like, leave a comment, subscribe, feel free to. If you do subscribe, be sure to hit the notifications bell. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, now, so space comes out. Maybe, you know, the first thing I thought was maybe your person, whoever this is, feels like they need to give you space. Um, because of some sort of pressure that you're under, Gemini, all right? You and this person could be just taking space in general, all right? I need more time to think. That's what it says. I need more time to think. That could definitely be you, you know? Um... Let's see how you guys show up for each other right now, Gemini. Clarify. How is the deer wanted to come up for you all? Clarify, um, or for your person. How's this person showing up for, for Gemini right now? Ooh. Two cards. Wow, all air. So a lot of you, this is going to resonate um, if you're involved with another air sign or someone with a dominant air placement, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So your person comes up as the butterfly with the owl as well as the dragonfly and the bat, all air. Lots of transformation. And what's going on with this individual is... It's like they're going through changes, but for them, they recognize that the change is going to be positive. It's going to allow for uh, a lot of abundance to enter into their life. Okay. Yeah. It's like I get with your person, they're, they're not in a very in the most stable space, but they're going through changes right now that um, will make space for stability. Okay, so, I mean, it could be, it could be a person that needs a lot of space right now, Gemini, because they are going through a lot of growth and change, okay? Yeah. 
dragonfly bat. There's a bit of like a restless energy with that, with the dragonfly and the bat for your person. Their mind is going, their mind is going. Um, but with the owl, owl usually shows up when someone knows that there's a gift on the way. There is abundance coming in. So it's like your person, if you look, the owl is looking at this butterfly energy. Your person, I think, has a level of wisdom, Gemini, where they understand that um, this process is necessary. You know, whatever's happening is necessary in order to, it, it, it could be, you know, they're sacrificing a part of themselves, a part of their life. They're, they're making certain adjustments, certain sacrifices, okay, in order to... Or, or <laughs> it's not even that they're making the sacrifices. I just heard it's like it, it it is what it is, you know. Something is what it is, and it's for the uh, bigger picture. It's it's what's the phrase for it? Um, the means will justify the ends, something like that. All right, so we got, oh, sorry, Gemini, I'm a little congested still. Clarify how Gemini is showing up here for who this is. How is Gemini showing up for this person right now? Okay. The golden egg. Ooh, you got the elk and the sea serpent. Hmm. Okay, so I kind of get the vibe that you're the treasure here Gemini you're the you are the mm, hold on yeah you're the gift okay it's even like a like a nest and you have the owl you're it's like you're the gift here okay um sea serpent you are like stepping into like you have a lot of awareness of what you desire Gemini and I will say what you desire what you desire is is he here you have it okay Whatever you want, it's like you're about to give birth to it, okay? I'm trying to explain this in the best way. Like, the physical manifestation of what you want is with you. Could be between you and this person, okay? You're, I'm, I'm just getting like with the sea serpent, this deep, deep desire for what it is you want, okay? But with the elk energy, um, you and this person, uh, it's a number of things. Elk is, is the father. Uh, it can also be the mother. Um, it's very supportive. I do look at elk as a, as an ideal partner. 
So a lot of you could desire to, you know, get something started with your owl here. Okay. I think a lot of you, it's almost like you have something waiting here for your person. You're, you're, you're waiting. Yeah. I mean, you, you're, you're like, I have it here. It's almost like you're you're keeping something safe for whoever this is. You're 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 waiting. Again, you have space, right? So you could be saying, "Well, I'm just going to give you some space. Allow you some space here, but I have you know something that I desire to start with you." when you're done. Okay, I feel like that's what you're saying to your owl. Okay. Whoever your person is, by the way, highly intuitive. All right, Gemini. Um, I feel like they, they can feel, they can pick up on you. They know what you want. Okay. And with you, I just get you being very, uh, supportive. I think you have a lot to offer who this is. You do with the elk and the golden egg. You do. You have a lot to offer this owl energy queen of pentacles we have a fortune as i cut the deck These two are moving forward together right now. Gemini and the person on your own. The Four of Wands. Wow, the Star. Knight of Pentacles. So you've got the Four of Wands. So there is an energy of stability between you two, Gemini. By the way, your person could be Earth sign. I'm sorry. Did I say that? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um... So I do get, uh, yeah, Four of Wands is a very, it's a stable union, okay? So even if you feel like things aren't stable between you two, Gemini, there is an energy of stability available. Um, if you're in a relationship with who this is, I think that they're very happy to be in a relationship with you, okay? With the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is like a celebration type of energy. Um, if you aren't, I'm hearing to tell you that if you aren't with who this is, there is a celebration coming. This is also a wedding card, okay? Marriage, commitment. A lot of you could just be taking space from your partner, okay? There's For some reason, there's space between you and your person, okay? Um, Even with the star here, there's wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting like an acknowledgement but between you and your person with this four of wands. There's something about like acknowledging we both want this relationship. We both want um, 
to commit to each other. Four of Wands is 11-11. The gates are open. Uh, so I'm hearing alignment, especially with the star. So you and your person, there's something that, it, you know, you both are... Uh, I do get abundance between the both of you with the golden egg and then with the owl. Those both indicate abundant energy here. Um, let me see. Clarify uh, how this person is showing up for Gemini. How is this person showing up for Gemini right now? The Seven of Pentacles. There's a Wheel of Fortune again. So the reason why I keep pointing this out is because the Wheel of Fortune has to do with growth luck abundance okay so that's why i keep seeing the wheel of fortune here um sag energy and the wheel of fortune is a 10 but the 10 of course it's a one so yes there's a you know i see a person with this completion energy but then it's to um excuse me it's to have a new start have a new beginning i feel like the new beginning is with you okay Um, so the seven of pentacles, your person here, right? If you look, you see how, again, I get them, um, looking over at this change that's happening. All right. Settling things. Um, investments. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm getting like multiple investments for your person. I, I, I get that. I mean, like, again, I was getting abundance and look at all the money bags <laughs> that are sitting there with your person. Okay. So I was, I'm getting a lot of abundance with who, with who this is. I think they're very focused on, um, I just heard transferring funds transferring funds because transformation right we've got some money here so something about transferring funds transferring money um um i feel like you're invested in who this is gemini yeah, as I say that, uh, here's the Knight of Pentacles. Um, oh, that's interesting. I was saying your person could be an Earth sign, but no, that's you. A lot of you may have Earth in your chart. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, sorry about that. Hold on. Um, okay, clarify how Gemini is showing up for who this is. How is Gemini showing up for who this is right now? How is Gemini showing up? who this is the knight of cups okay knight of pentacles knight of cups queen of pentacles yeah there you okay yeah you are showing up like the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles knight of cups <laughs> I feel like um, I feel like this is your person I think that I mean yeah you, you so there's this energy lots of romantic energy there's the water with the sea serpent I'm getting a lot of romantic energy And with the Queen of Pentacles too. A lot of you though, Gemini, like you you know, I, I am getting this, like you know what you want in terms of relationship, 
commitment. You know, I look at this golden egg, like that pinnacle right there. So you know what you want, you know what you desire. And I think the both of you want commitment, marriage, things like that. I feel like this is your person for some reason. I feel like this is your person here. That's why when I looked at the elk earlier, I was like, oh, this could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo. It's like, I'm getting, whoever this is, they feel like your person I'm getting, they are all about you. This, you know, romantically, financially, okay. I also get you being very like supportive, especially if you're in a partnership with who this is. Queen of Pentacles is very stable. Again, you do show up like the elk, so very stable, very committed. Clarify um, how these two are moving forward together. Gemini, the person on your mind. Jeez. <laughs> Twin flames, four of wands. Like, like I said, 11, 11. Like, it's, it's like the twins almost, you know? Okay, Gemini, sorry about that. I had to grab some tissue. Your girl's nose was running. Um... So, okay, I'll start here. When I asked how you two are moving forward, twin flames came up. And I was saying it's just very interesting because even in this reading, um, it's like you're, you and your person, it's hard for me to tell you two apart. Which is interesting because we have the space card, right? So I don't know if that's maybe why you and this person like are if you're taking space because uh, maybe it's necessary right now. Or I just heard, well, the space could be very literal between you two. Yeah, like there's just literal space, you know, you two could be in different areas of the country, state, uh, be in different countries, things like that. So something does separate you two. But when I'm reading on both you and whoever this is, it's almost like I can't tell you two apart. So that is very interesting to me that the twin flame card comes out um, because it, it does it is it it almost describes that it describes you know the whole twin flame thing is there's one flame and it splits apart so you know i definitely like i said i, I definitely saw a couple a marriage here okay um I will tell you this, uh, there's something about the union between you two um, is celebrated or will be celebrated. <laughs> I almost feel like those are like ancestors or yeah, there, there's something about the union between you two is being celebrated or will be celebrated by many, okay? So I'm getting that, which is very random. Um, but yeah, it's it's like you and this person are like flowing. The energy is flowing. You're, you know, I don't know if I said this before. I had to stop the reading. But your person shows up with air. That's you. 
it's all air gemini libra aquarius right but gemini and then you show up with all this earth it was almost like i um mistook yeah uh, is that a word <laughs> i mistook uh you for your person okay remember i was like oh this could be a virgo capricorn taurus but then i was like oh that's gemini side so and then i i was looking and i'm like i feel like this is your person your person is very dedicated to you sees whoever this is sees you as the you know ideal partner You, you, you too, just very much. Um, I get your energy just flows. I can't tell you two apart. It's like it's that type of that type of energy. Um, even if there's space, it doesn't matter. It's like the the you know both of you. Um, wow, love wanted to come out for your person. Clarify how this person shows up for Gemini right now. Boat. So this is my Six of Swords card. So for a lot of you, yes, there is some sort of distance. But your ships are coming in. That's what I'm getting here. Receiving what you need. Progression arriving moving on and I do get that with your person moving on like they're trying to close something out close accounts transferring funds um moving that whole thing like the, I, I see that's you know I, I get your person handling like money matters In order for there to be progress with you two, okay? Yeah, possibly like traveling to see you, getting things in order, settling, you know, even wanting to make sure that they're settling things, settling things with you, potentially, right? If you're watching this reading and you're feeling like things aren't quite settled with you two, they want to settle things with you, okay? Clarify how um, is Gemini showing up for their person here? How is Gemini showing up for their person here? Here we go. Love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. All right. Gemini, you are definitely like... Let me ask something really quickly. Yeah. You do feel blocked from who this is. Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles. Um, then you have the King of Cups. All right. What I'm getting with you, like, it's only a matter of time. That's the energy I'm getting from you, Gemini. Like, you're kind of sitting over here like... It's only a matter of time. Let me see something. Yeah. You're, you are definitely ready. Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and you have the love card. Um, 
I just keep getting like there is literal space between you and who this is. I do. And you're feeling a little left out, a bit blocked, okay? You miss who this is, but you're, some of you are even like preparing. Like I even see you like, it's, this is so weird. Like preparing in the mirror to make your offer, like, you know, like it almost like I see her like looking in the mirror, like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to pose like that. <laughs> um, like you're imagining you're, you know, getting ready. Yeah. But I feel like you have, I'm seeing you, you have all of this unconditional love. Um, I could be getting you like really trying to contain how you feel. Like to this person, you show up like this elk, you show up very, um, very much almost like a, like a Taurus. I keep getting this Taurus type of energy, you know, very calm and cool. Okay, a lot of you, that could be like a May, like May Gemini energy. But then behind that, it's like, I don't think, you know, you're, you're, I just see you, I don't know, almost, almost preparing, like you're practicing, you're like, this is the, this is the one right here, I'm going to marry going to marry this person. I know what I want. Okay. I'm getting that vibe. I hope this is making sense. Yeah. I don't think that. I don't know. I get this person being very intuitive, but they may not know like the level of, you know, love and dedication that you have here for them. Okay. So, you know, I am getting the twin with the twin flames that there is a level of complementary energy here. 1000%. Um, you're ready to receive, they're ready to give. They do come up with this masculine energy. You come up with the feminine energy, earth, water. They come up with the swords. Okay. Um, oh, that's what I'm getting. All right. All right, so please like, leave a comment, and subscribe if that makes sense, Gemini. Let's we're gonna get into what I see happening next, okay? Clarify how Gemini and the person on the line. How are these two moving forward together next? How are Gemini and the person on their mind? How are these two moving forward together next? Gemini. How are these two? How are Gemini and the person moving forward together next? Whoa. Wow. The way that that just flipped up in reverse. Overwhelmed in reverse. I'm keeping it in reverse. This says the stress from this is draining me. So just... Think of the opposite of that is happening. It's almost like this is giving me life. Okay. Um, how are Gemini soulmates? Ooh. Soul connection, partnership. All right. 
and clarify how are Gemini and the person with their mind, how are these two moving forward together next, coming up next, how are these two, oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. They're like, we're just going to keep this going here. Um, <laughs> so, listen, at the very least, right, if you're not going to join me to watch the second part of this, at the very least, you have to be connecting with, you know, or in alignment with the person that you are compatible with, that you are going to marry, want to marry, if you have no idea who this is, then this reading was simply to let you know that you are in alignment with an individual that wants and desires the same thing that you want and desire. And as a matter of fact, it's a lot closer than what you think. It's coming in. Your ships are coming in. Right? You know, because sometimes people will say, well, this, I don't understand. I don't have anyone. Well, congratulations. Someone is on their way, clearly, okay? Um, the hangman, the chariot, okay? The sun, I can keep going, okay? <laughs> I can keep going. The king of wands, all right? Like, this person is clearly on their way to you. So, the space is an illusion i just heard to tell you like whatever space is present it's just an illusion all of this is an illusion by the way right some of us are very aware of that but the space is just an illusion it's like i'm being told to remind you of that and no matter what whoever this is gemini the owl only shows up when there is a gift on the way it's an omen. It says that something is coming to fruition. And um, that something seems to be in alignment with what you want. Okay. So, you know, like I said, I think we're, we're about to keep the party going in part two, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Isn't that... Cat, Cat Williams. I think I've been mentioning Cat and Virgos or anything, but it was like, keep the party going. Um, so, some of you literally are about to get married to who this is. I don't know, but um, possibly moving in together, things like that. So, there's a whole lot I could say. But, um, it's just very interesting. I've never done a reading like this before where I truly felt like it's like both of you, both of the energies were intertwined. And so then when the twin flame card came out, I was like, oh, all right, well, that makes sense um, because it comes from one flame. All right. Now, uh, part two, I'm going to pull the rest of the cards from how I see you and your person moving forward together next, what this person would like overall with you in this lifetime, Gemini. What do they think will happen with you too? All right, we're going to pull the outcome I get, give you a timeline of when I see forward movement. And then we're absolutely going to pull your advice from the rest of the cards. How should you be showing up at this connection? And uh, we're going to pull from the crystal oracle deck and give you advice from there as well so if you feel like that part of the reading would be helpful beneficial feel free to click the the, the rink the ice rink so many messages sometimes come through it's just random um click the link below in the description top of the comments for vimeo and we'll continue your reading there gemini if this is where we part ways, thank you for letting me read for you. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. For those of you that stuck around to the end, um, I mean, I don't know. The energy of this reading, maybe it seemed weird, but I, I like it. 
So, but, um, all right. I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you soon. Peace.